Welcome to the Canada Japa system lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the top ways you can use to relegate to Canada. But most importantly, share with you the new system to relocate to Canada in the most no asso and most affordable way possible. Alright. To get started, let's understand the ultimate goal of the Canadian immigration program. Why was the Canadian immigration program created? Now, one of it is that it was created to support its aging population. Now, what Canada wanted to do was to bring in people from other countries to support the old people, the aging population in the country. Number two was to fill temporary labor needs in the country, which shows you why some immigration programs are not temp uh, permanent. Okay. Number three was to meet its labor market needs. Number four, to boost trade and economy. Number five, to sustain its educational system through international students, which shows you why a lot of international students are welcome in Canada. Now, as a Nigerian, and if you are watching this, I know for sure that what you want is not just to fulfill these needs, but to get a permanent residency in Canada, right? But what is a permanent residency in Canada? Now, a permanent resident of Canada is someone who has been given permanent resident status, which means you are now recognized by the Canadian government. You have been given permanent resident status by immigrating to Canada, but you are not yet a Canadian citizen. Now, after you get your permanent residency status, if you are interested to become a Canadian citizen, you can apply after three years of staying in Canada. All right, you can apply and from there you get dual citizenship. You get one from Canada and you get one from Nigeria. That is so amazing. And if you are watching this from any African country, you get the same from your country and you also get the same from Canada and you enjoy all the benefits of the two countries. But for you to get this permanent residency in Canada, there are a lot of immigration routes or pathways you can use. One of it is the family class route. Number two is the work permit immigration program. Number three is the PNP. Number four is the rural northern pilots program. Number five is the express entry, skill worker programs, business immigration program, and a lot more. Okay. Now, this business immigration is for those like investors. If you have thousands of dollars, you just want to move from Nigeria and you want uh, an easy way out, you can use the business immigration system, which means you are going to invest thousands of dollars to boost the Canadian trade and economy. I hope this is understood. I just want to take some time to explain the goal of the Canadian immigration program before we go into the main lesson for you to understand. Alright, going on, let's check out some Nigerians who had their Japa dream come to pass. Yes, so these are Nigerians that have left, okay, Nigeria, that have left Nigeria to Canada. We have the story of At Odi for real. He said, on this day, two years ago, we arrived in this beautiful country, which is Canada. So much progress made under two years. Emphasis on so much progress made under two years. You can see that someone just immigrated to Canada and in under two years, he has made so much progress. You can go through this, but my point is here. He said, by this time next day, I will be called to the bar. Imagine, you will be called to the bar in Canada under these two years. And the three of us, that is his family, that came here will be eligible for Canadian citizenship. Imagine that under three years, he has achieved a lot. Okay, and as you can see in the right top corner here, he shared his passport of uh, Canadian Red Cross, which I believe is a member. And also, this is when he left Nigeria for Canada. This is also a story of Adgribella. Also, she said, "Make me save, live, and also loan." This is a picture which she shared, and also this image which she shared as well. I know that you might want to see more stories and uh, Japan stories like this. I'm going to share more with you towards the end of this program but first of all i want you to save this image okay save this image or screenshot this image if you are using your mobile phone to watch this presentation because you are going to use the same image when you finally relocate to canada so make sure you screenshot this image do it now let, let me give you five seconds one two three four five all right let's go ahead from here 
to fulfill your Canadian Japan dream, you need to understand five facts. The number one is the desire and feeling. Do you really desire to leave Nigeria for Canada? That is number one. Number two is do you have the belief system that this is possible and you can do this like others have shared with you and number three is do you really want to put in the action are you ready to put in the action needed to do this these are the three i want you to hold first then as we go ahead i'm going to share two more with you before we conclude this presentation let me break down the relocation to Canada processes from Nigeria for you. Now, when it comes to Canada relocation, there are lots of systems for you to japa from Nigeria to Canada. But the big question is, which is the best for you? I mean, a fitting japa system to those that do not want to write the health exams, it is not a concern or a barrier, even though you cannot afford full funding costs and etc., which we we'll consider. Okay? So, if this is what you want that is why this presentation was made for you let's check out the top five immigration routes to canada from nigeria or anywhere number one is the work permit which we said already number two is the rural and northern immigration pilots program number three is the provincial nominee program number four express entry number five study routes study visa routes program let's start with the work permit immigration program now this immigration program involves using a work permit to japan to canada the thing with this immigration program is that there are a lot of things involved the processes is so much okay it's tiring okay there are a lot of things involved but yet there are two types of work permits we have the open work permit and we have the employer specific work permit since this concerns a lot of persons the employer specific work permits lets you to work in canada if and only if you fulfill the conditions of the work permit immigration program some of the conditions include how long you work in canada the location where you can work before you apply for this work permit program your employer must give a copy of your employment contract to you a copy of labor market impact assessment you, you have to be verified if you are fake or real and in, uh, an offer of employment number must also be given to you you have to wait for the schedule one thing with the work permit immigration program is the uncertainty that lies with it what i mean here is that you are not sure of how long you will work in canada when you receive the employment offer after mlia assessment and whether you'll be qualified or not the most annoying part is that the work permit is regarded by some as a leftover pathway to Canada. Let's see what that means. Now, the LMIA is a document which the Canadian employer that wants to employ you from Nigeria or anyway must get first of all from the government. Why is that? Now, this document certifies that the employer has tried to find an employee in Canada who is a citizen or a permanent resident, but there was no one okay you could find in canada because no person within canada was found the employer needs you now from nigeria or any other country around the world to fill the space so what that means is that it's a leftover which means if someone is not found in canada now they call you from nigeria or any other country to fill the need i hope you get the point here now the big question is do you even stand a chance to millions of people applying to get the same employment offer and is this how you want to fulfill your japa dream no you you don't want your japa dream to be at the mercy of anyone okay and there are a lot of millions of people applying for this same uh, work permit program which means it is a no for us all right let's check out the next relocation program the next one is the rural and northern immigration program this was introduced to spread the benefits of economic immigration to smaller communities in canada all right by creating a path to permanent residence for skilled foreign workers who want to work and live in one of the communities in canada now only a few provinces offers this program or offered this program uh, such as ontario thunder bay and some of them okay not all the provinces in canada uh, offer this immigration program now like express entry there are a lot of requirements also with the rural or uh, nothing program there are lots of requirements as well now you must have qualifying work experience in the province how do you stay in nigeria and have work experience in the province in canada <laughs> this is tough 
you must have graduated from a public funded post school in the community the same province you want to relocate to you must have graduated from the cities to huh you must meet or exceed the language requirements french speaking and a proof you have so if the community speaks french okay you have to prove that you can speak french this is something now you must meet or exceed the educational requirement as well you must prove that you have enough money to support your transition into the community and you intend to live in the community what happens if it's not where you want to live what happens if the cold weather is too much you don't want to live there and now you must meet all the community specific requirements and more ah to be frank this relegation pathway favors mostly foreigners already resident in canada not you that is from nigeria okay so this relocation route is no for us let's move to the next one we have the provincial nominee program now this immigration program is designed to enable provinces okay to support the immigration of people who have interest okay to settle in that community as well just as the first one but based on many provinces they use a point system unlike this one that you have to qualify to a lot of things the PNP use point system to qualify you now the qualification points here are based on a combination of your age work experience education language and connection to the province so if you don't have all these things okay you are not qualified for the PNP or immigration program by the way the processing of provincial nominee program application was put on hold okay until March 2021 until the province or territory confirms that it, they want to continue the program so this program was put to an old so if you are interested in this type of program you have to confirm if the ban or uh, yeah the ban was lifted okay all right let's continue so like the other one this is not what we want to use to relocate to canada it is a no for us because a lot of things are involved here your age your work experience education language and connection to the province are involved so it is a no for us let's move to the express entry immigration program now when it comes to canadian relocation from nendra the most popular route has always been express entry Note this word has always been the express entry, but as the years went by, it has become very competitive. The express entry program is very, very competitive. Now, the express entry system uses a points based system called the Comprehensive Ranking System CRS. They select the highest ranking candidates or applicants from the pool and invite them to apply for permanent residence so you have to apply based on the requirements and if you are qualified they use a point based system to rank you okay which means if you don't have the necessary uh, points required you are out the express entry system is so competitive that lots of Nigerians have abandoned their canadian japa dream so competitive that lots of Nigerians have said no i don't want to jump again now because what contributes to the points are things most people in nigeria lack let's check out some of them your age is a consideration language also level of education your work experience in canada if you have a brother or sister living in canada if you can speak french is also a point and you need proof of points there are a lot of things involved apart from this ones i've listed now the last time the government of canada issued an ita ita means invitation to apply the CR score was over 500 so all these points here all these points has to add up to 500 and something before you can be even ranked okay if you are familiar with the express entry you know that 500 points is on the very top shelf of the score band it means it is a top point for you to uh, achieve it is a very high score okay 500 over 500 is a very high score for you to combine all these things to combine all these things you have is a very tough one to capital if you don't have the required points you are out so if you don't have the required points for each month or each year you are out mm -hmm. that is not even all though. now even if you struggle to have the points you have to wait and if you are not invited to apply within 12 months of submitting your express entry profile it will automatically expire so it means that all the work you put in here to have all these points 
okay all these 500 points was needless okay so if you are not caught it will expire and then what you try again next year imagine starting all over again and wasting the same money again to get all these things done to get your IELTS exams to get all these things done again ah so this program for us is a no also for us the express entry is a no for us however if you think you can use this uh, routes to relocate to Canada, you can try it on your own. But for us, this is a no. We are focusing on a simple program, a no as a way for us to relocate to Canada. Now, I said here rejoice, okay? Rejoice because there lies a route 90% of Nigerians now use to fulfill their, their Japa dream, okay? This is the new route 90% of Nigerians now use to fulfill their Japa dream. So let's talk about it, this new route okay the route we are talking about is the study visa route so i said here that the new system 90 percent of nigerian now used to relocate to canada in the most hassle and most affordable way is via the study visa route or immigration program now the study visa route system is so effective because it ticks so many boxes boxes for a lot of Nigerians wanting to Japan as compared to other relocation pathways due to tight requirements. So this system ticks a lot of boxes for Nigerians. Before I tell you why this is the new and easiest pathway to Canada, let's see why and what the study relocation route is all about. So let's check out what it's all about before we go ahead and tell you why it is the best for you. So what is the study visa relocation route? Now the study visa route is using the study route to get permanent residency in Canada. The good news is that each province in Canada is in charge of its own education system. So you get to choose the most comfortable province and school system for you. So if one school is not okay for you, you go to the next one, okay? So note here that province here means like a state, okay? In Nigeria, like a state. Province here means a state, for instance, Toronto is just like saying Lagos in Nigeria. Ontario is just like saying Abuja, okay? This is what I mean by province. When I say province, note that it's just like saying state in Nigeria. Let's see basic understanding of schools in Canada as compared to Nigeria. So when we say Unilac, for instance, we are just saying University of Toronto, okay? The same thing applies here. If we say Lagos State University, we are just saying University of Waterloo, Toronto in Canada, okay? Yaba College is just like saying George Brown College in Canada, okay? So don't be marveled when you hear all these schools. They are the same thing as, as schools in Nigeria. I hope you get the point. So just as Unilac and Yaba College have different admission requirements, the same with Canadian schools, such as the University of Winnipeg and Regina. So if Unilac, for instance, needs 400 scores in JAM and Lagos State University needs 200 in JAM scores, if you are scored 280, you go to the one that you are qualified for, which is the Lagos State University and you get started, right? I hope that is understood. And after the study program at Lagos State University, you decide to stay back and apply to work and live in Lagos. Okay, so after... You have scored a good jump point you start a school and when you are done with school you stay in lagos you live there and work there in lagos the same thing goes for the study visa route in canada after your education you apply you stay back and apply for permanent residency in canada based on the province and the state you are in i hope you get the point i just wanted to compare these points with nigerian schools for you to understand what how this works which I believe you understand. Ian, if you have any question, you drop them in the comment section. I'm going to attend to them. So how does the study visa immigration program works? Let's check it out. Step one is that you choose a Canadian school and program in the province of your choice, okay? In any province you want, okay, in Canada. Step two is that you apply to the school, either a college or a university, depending on your C GPA okay plus school requirements so you step one again you choose a school number two you apply to a school number three you get an offer later and hit on to apply for a study visa number four you arrive in Canada to study and get your study permit number five you graduate and apply 
to permanent residency in Canada based on the province of your choice. So I hope you get the points now. You see a Canadian school, you apply, you get the offer letter, you get study permits. When you are done, you apply for permanent residency in Canada and you get it right away. I hope you get the point. Before we go on, let's check out what is study permit and what is study visa for a rapt understanding. Now, what is study visa? A study visa is a document issued by the Canadian Immigration Authority that serves as permission for foreign students to study in Canada. So this is a document issued by the Canadian Immigration System to give you a go ahead to study in Canada. In other words, we can say that a study visa is a stamp posted on your passport by the Canadian Embassy which allows you to enter Canada on the basis of your plans to study there. I hope you get the points. And the study permits here is a document the Canadian Immigration Authority issues to you that allows you to stay and study in any institution in Canada. In other words, the Canadian study permit is issued at the Canadian border by the border officer. This is a document that allows you to work and study in Canada throughout your stay. I hope you understand now. And if you don't understand, you can screenshot this page so that you can check it back. So having seen how the system works, now you'll be open to a lot of schools in Canada so that you can compare the ones you want and the provinces you want. You get to choose the one you want and you station there, apply and get your permanent residency after your study time in Canada. So coming back to the study visa relocation pathway, why is this system unique? Okay, since we said that this is the best system for you, why is this system unique and a shortcut to getting Canadian permanent residence? To start with, let's just thank God that Canada is fair enough to allow us to stay back and apply for permanent residency. Why? Because most countries do not allow this. So just thank God that Canada allows you to stay back and get your PR. So what we need to do is to grab the opportunity with two open hands okay so let's see why this is the current easy jump to canadian permanent residency the number one reason is that the study visa is the easiest and the highest administration rate immigration program to canada today okay whether you are from nigeria or any african country from this presentation you can see the increase in the number per year of those using the study route to immigrate to Canada from Nigeria. This is the number of Nigerian students studying in Canada using this study visa relocation pathway. As you can see here, last year we had 13,745 students in Nigeria studying in Canada through the study visa immigration program. So this is one of the reasons why it is the best and the easiest pathway you can use and enter Canada. And at the end of the day, you stay back and get your permanent residency and in under three years you get your citizenship in canada if you are interested the number two reason is that the study visa route is very consistent and easy as compared to other routes that are not consistent and very competitive for instance other immigration pathways like express entry work permits pnp and others were paused for people outside of canada and guess what the point system which takes into consideration your age language ILTS and more makes it very competitive. It makes them very competitive. I'm talking about the express entry, work permit, PNP, and others. For instance, the express entry exams in July 2020, okay, this month, there were more than 220,000 candidates sitting in the poll, okay, the highest that have recorded so far. And guess what? Only 1,500 people were issued invitation to apply. Imagine 220 thousand applying and only one five were chosen ah this is ridiculous okay as you can see here this was the draw for july 6 it was on july 6 only 100 and 1500 people were chosen out of 220,000. and guess what all these people that are left okay they will do the same thing over and again the next year and spending the same money and going through the same process over and again which is very rigorous all right so let's go on the number three reason is that the study route does not need IELTS exams certificate as far as you study it in English, okay? So Nigeria is one of the countries that have been listed as English-speaking country, okay? Alright, so which 
of, of course as i told you you will get a portal for you to check them out you check all the schools that do not require lts and a lot more for instance the universities of regina and winnipeg do not require ielts be it as it may while ielts is not required as the bonus to you i'm going to give you a proficiency document i got and how i got it from nigeria that puts you above other people now what i mean here is that this document that i'm going to give you is a document that i got from a nigerian school okay the exact document i use in place of ielts for schools that just wanted you to prove that okay you studied in english okay so if one of the schools you would choose okay uh, says okay show me an example or show me a proof that you really studied in english this is the document which i got from school and which i used so you will get this exact document i used in place of ielts okay and the sample of it how i got it from an Nigerian school and how you can get it as well right here in nigeria to use in case the school that you just want to apply okay says show me a proof that you really studied in english all right going on to why the study routes is very important and the easiest way the number four reason is that your age does not matter okay no matter your age you can use the study routes to relocate to canada number five is that your spouse and family can join you all right and guess what your husband or wife will get the spousal open work permit to work anyway in canada while you are studying and also your children will get work or study visits visas based on their age now if your children are up to uh working age that is from 18 and above they will get work visa and if they are not up to 18 they will get study visa as well so that when you are studying in school they will either be going to school as well or they will either be working so this is why the study visa route is very good and easy for nigerians to get canadian relocation the number six reason is that you get the canadian work experience imagine getting the two top requirements other suites to get in the express entry i mean you are getting both the canadian education and the canadian work experience which is so amazing which will help you to easily apply for canadian permanent residency in canada number seven is that no agent is required yes no agent is required because you will do everything plus the support you will get from this program to scale through the processes the question here is if the study visa relocation route is so simple then why do people get their admissions denied for instance if you look at this presentation the blue line here okay shows the number of applications and the red shows the number of approval just imagine that those that were approved in the university okay look at this red one so low and the applications so high the same thing with other studies so if the study route is very easy why do people get denied i'm going to explain everything to you and why it is now what do you need for you to do to win your way to canada you need five factors the number one fact is the desire do you really have the desire which i believe you do else you wouldn't be watching this video the number two is the belief system do you believe that you can actually relocate to canada from nigeria just as others have showed us number three is the right formula are you using the right formula number four is the right guidance and number five is action so if you combine all these you will see yourself in canada and the reversal of this is why a lot of people's applications are denied okay as you've seen here this is the result of doing the reverse of all these no right formula no right guidance and no action but why do i put action at the end here because you can be busy 24 hours without any progress that is for sure the same for people who put in the work with the wrong guardians and the wrong formula henry david said it is not enough to be busy so are the ants the question is what are we busy about so what are you busy about are you using the wrong formula are you using the wrong guidance and action which will still end in denial of your visa application now to fulfill your japa canada dream is where the lesson program called the no aso niger to canada japa system comes in so if you want to be on the red side here where your study visa application is approved you need to use a program that has been tested which will give you a breakdown of everything you need for you to successfully relegate to canada through the study 
visa route so you need the no aso niger to canada japa system so what is the no aso niger to japa canada system all about answer is that this is a complete and the most robust niger japa system program you need to move to canada via the study visa route from nigeria so if you ever think that you have tried for so many times or for so many years and even though it's your first time and you really want to nail it at your first time you need a program like the no aso niger to canada japa system now you will see why many nigerians have used the no aso niger to canada japa system to fulfill their canadian relocation dream let's see a lot of them the number one is that you will get a comprehensive or you can call it a step-by-step -step system that you will ever need okay that you will ever need and to follow to relocate to canada from nigeria via the study visa route this alone is valued at hundred thousand naira number two is that you get a simple easy to use school canada search tool okay that helps you to search for schools and programs of your choice in canada this is rated or valued at 50,000 naira. Number three is that you get a comprehensive database of schools and programs with the most popular programs of your choice. Okay, showing all the details of students. The good news here is that this database is continually updated for you to find new enlisted schools and this is valued at 50,000 naira. The number four is that you get access to long-term international affordable study loans in case you need full scholarship and full funding okay to study in canada you get the secret and how you can get all of free and full scholarship for you to study in canada okay this is valued at fifty thousand naira. number five is that you get a database of scholarships okay all the scholarships to study in canada the current scholarships for you to study in canada and this is valued at fifty thousand naira. number six is that you get a list of universities that accept two two for a master's degree so even though you were not uh, fortunate to have two one okay even though you have two two it's not a problem there are schools in canada which you get a list of them that accept two two for you to further your education through the master's degree program the number seven is that you get sample templates okay sample templates you can just copy a model including motivation letter statement of purpose and emails to professors in case you are looking for full funding all right this is valued at 50,000 Naira. Number eight is that you get a step-by-step -step guide to study visa processing, including required documents, all the documents that you need and you must include in your application. You will get it, everything enlisted for you. And this is valued at 70,000 Naira. These are the basic things you will get, the basic benefits you will get from the No Asset Japa program. Now let's go on to the premium program for you to see what you get from the premium benefits. Premium but free benefits from the No Asso to Japan system program. Number one is that you get two free basic reviews of your CVs and statement of purpose. So in case you are writing to a professor, you will get your CVs and statement of purpose reviewed. Okay, in case you have made any mistake, the team by CE will make it and you know checkmate it for you that it is okay. This is valued at thirty thousand naira, but you are getting all this for free. Number two is that you get a step by step guide and strategies on how to apply for your family to join you in Canada. Like I said before, while you are studying, your Cana your family is in Canada as well, okay. And if you have children that are up to eighteen years, they'll be working while you are also studying right here in Canada. Number three is that you get professional help to process your admission and visa application if you need one. So in case you you just say, okay, I need a professional help to process my admission and visa application, the team, this team by CE is going to help you do this. Number four is that you get access to CE Obasi, okay, the brain behind the No Asset to Canada Japan System program. So you can meet her for your private and personal questions. So in case there are things you have, uh, some private questions and personal questions you might want to ask her, you will get access to her so that you can ask her. You will get her WhatsApp number, you get her email, and you get the phone number so that you can communicate the way you want. Number five is that you get access to CE's team again for foundational and basic questions and guidance on any relocation to Canada challenge you have or encounter so if there are some basic things some basic challenges you um encounter along the way the team 
okay so this team is going to help you they will help checkmate whatever is your challenge and they will solve it okay these benefits alone puts you ahead of others who are found wanting in their visa processing I mean if you go to a lot of forums and on twitter you will see that a lot of people are complaining they are looking for who to guide them okay but for you here you have everything in one place okay this is why the no answer to our uh, canada japan system program is a must okay if you want to get it right at once in summary you are getting a system that shows you a step-by-step -step process to finally achieve your dreams of relocating to Canada in the most no asshole and most affordable way possible. Alright, so what is the cost of the Japan system? Before we see the cost, I would like to uh, disclose it that this program is not for everyone. Why do I say so? Because only 50 persons are taken every 30 days so that everyone can get the premium support that I've talked about. All right. So only 50 persons are admitted or are enrolled into the Japan system program so that you can get every support you need. That is why a lot of people will come and ask when next will the Japan system program be open for new students. All right. So get this from me to you. If you are ready to take the first step now to your Canadian Japa dream in the next six to nine months, I won't say that the journey starts here, but rather the time is now. So even though you've tried it for like three times or two times or once and you never got it, and even though this is your first time, I want you to use a program that has been tested or oh God that has worked for a lot of Nigerians for you to finally relocate to Canada through the Canadian study visa program and i know one thing for sure that you are going to procrastinate that you are like okay i have a lot of time now hear this never put off for tomorrow what you can do today that is what thomas jefferson said and listen to what alexander bell said he said the only difference between success and failure is the ability to take action action is what you need now for you to apply get enrolled in this program and start your visa your study visa relocation processes and application all right so what is the true cost of this program the no aso japan system actually costs 650,000 naira. don't marvel because i said earlier that this program is not for everyone you see if you are pursuing to fulfill your canadian japan dream you need money to do some initial stuff like your international passport visa application which is not much just 150 canadian dollars and a few other things to get full funding okay while you might get full funding and full scholarship on other things you need some money to do some preliminary things okay like your international passport visa application and so much on okay so six hundred and fifty thousand is not that bad compared to the fulfilled dream of me moving to canada and the progress you record in two to three years while you are in canada all right so six hundred and fifty thousand is not too much okay but the truth of the matter is that you are not even getting or paying 10 percent of this amount to get enrolled in the no asset japa system program no you are not paying that so for today if you are joining hundreds of others per year to finally relocate to canada today you get this japa system program at only forty thousand naira forty thousand naira is what stands between you and your success point of moving to canada via the study route system so you have forty thousand naira to get the right formula to get the right audience and to put in the right action for you to finally relocate to canada via the study visa route immigration system so this program is just forty thousand naira only Apart from all the benefits we've listed for you in the No Aso Japa system program, here are more which you will get. Number one is that you will get ready-made copies of admission letters, emails to professors, and visa letters to fast track your relocation process. This alone puts you in the forefront ahead of those confused about the whole visa process. Okay. Number two is that you get CEs direct contact information for swift communication you will check your email inbox after you purchase or your purchase is confirmed number three is that you get premium and specially selected and high quality statement of purpose that you can copy edit and use for your own visa or study visa application number four is that you get important checklist on basic 12 things to have before studying in canada number five is that you see how to get a job and accommodation without stress in Canada. Okay. 
Now, for you to get the No Aso Niger Japa System program, click the link below the video description or you can contact me for the link for you to enroll today and get started. Now, when you click the link below the video description, it will take you to a website called Espadnia because this program is hosted on the Espadnia platform. So, that is the only place you can buy this program or enroll in this course legitimately so that you can get every support and guidance you need from CE and our team, okay? So if you get this program from anywhere else, you won't get all the benefits that are accrued to you from this program. So the only place you have to get this program is on a platform called Espartania. So you click the link below the video description or you can contact me for the link to enroll today and get started, okay? Now the big question is that, are you ready for this journey? If yes, click the link below the video description for you to get started and start your study visa relocation process so that you can process your permanent residency in Canada. But before we close, let's see three possible outcomes with this information you've received. Okay, so we are done with the presentation. Let's check out the three possible outcomes. Okay, number one is that you can decide to do nothing. That is to say, you can close this presentation now and do nothing. After all, it's your life. So whether you have the desire or you have the feelings or you really want it or you believe it is based on you, okay? So you can decide to do nothing. Number two is that you can do it on your own without up. You can say that, okay, I can do it. If you believe you don't need the distilled information ready for you in one place, you can learn in pieces on YouTube, Google, and forum sections and do it on your own if you think you can really do it on your own. But one thing is sure, mistakes are abound. So be very careful if you want to do it on your own so that your visa application will not be denied as you've seen those thousands of people that were denied. And number three is that you get all the help and support you need okay so is that you do this or you do this or number three you can get all this help and support you need including the tools one-on-one -on -one guardians team supports templates and resources from the japa system to avoid all nightmares and finally japa to canada via the study visa relocation route okay so these are the three options for you you can do nothing or you can say okay i can do it on my own or lastly you get all the up needed for you to process your study visa immigration guess what now this is a, a tweet by tunde omoto he said that so canada has increased the number of yearly new immigrants targets so 2022 they want 431,000 people permanent residents in canada next year will be 447 2004 24 will be 451,000 permanent residents. So, if you are to get this in 2023, the journey starts now. And if you are to get this in 2024, the journey starts now. One thing is always sure attain, one thing is always sure apply early enough, apply very early so that everything can be so swift so that you won't be under pressure for anything. Now, the question here is will you be among those for 2023 and 2024 relocation? If yes, then it starts with you today, okay? It starts here and today. I know that some of us might be saying that 40,000 is much or this, but the fact is that 40,000 Naira is a steal compared to the information, help, resources, and templates you will get, okay? Just remember all these when you want to get this program. These are very important, okay? The right formula, the right guidance, and the right action. This is what will take you to Canada. Anything outside of this most important three, you are out. Your application will be denied, okay? So you need to get it right even once and for all so the greatest amount of wasted time is the time not getting started so if you are to say okay i will do it next week i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it next month the greatest amount of wasted time is the time you are not getting started so if you want to do it now get started right now and today okay do it now so if you are ready now click below to get the no Aslan Niger to Canada Japa program and get started today. This program is only 40,000 Naira. Only 40,000 Naira. So click the link below the video description or ask me in the comment section. I'm going to, or click the link also to chat me up and I'm going to give you the link for you to sign up to this amazing program. Just before we close, these are more resources you will get from us. So after you get the No Aslan to Japa Niger system program, Please write to us via this email. Our email will be below the video description. Okay, my email will be below the video description. Just write to us and you'll get all these resources. 
the number one is the exact documents i used in place of ielts to prove that i studied in english in nigeria number two is the top five canadian organizations offering free tech trainings and in-person job okay you will get this a list of these organizations as well and number three is that you get 45 carefully written statement of purpose all right that has that have gained admission to top universities around the world this is exactly how they look like you will get the links in a google drive so you just click and download click and download click and download see what is working and do the same all right so the my email will be below the video description going on before we close let me tell you some of the mistakes a lot of people make in the application the number one mistake is writing of essays now most canadian universities that offer full scholarship and funding to international students like you from nigeria often ask them to write essays the mistake many people make when it comes to this crucial part of the scholarship application is not having experienced people go through the essays that they have written all right so don't make this mistake all right but the good news is that this is not a mistake for you why because your essays okay will be checkmated by a support team of ce okay so this is not for you this is just for people who are out of this program the number two mistakes is that they submit the application very late please i cannot stress this enough submit your application very early all right so here i said that submitting an early application is very important and it increases your chances a lot okay so try as much as possible for you to submit your applications as you are getting the no asset japan system today get everything ready and submit your application very early because it helps you avoid pressure and rushing and also the canadian schools system encourages this as well so please submit your application very early like i promised to before now these are more people from nigeria that has japan that has fulfilled their canadian dream this is at Lamzie, Lamzie, okay, a Japan story as you can see here. Uh, she said I became a permanent resident of Canada, as you can see. Oh, uh, here you can see the environment already. So, like I promised, this is the last person I'm going to share with us. It that is at Mazip, okay. She said Japan mission successfully completed, as we can see here. And just before we wrap it up these are some frequently asked questions i know you might be asking what is the age range of people that can use this system to relocate to canada the thing is that there is no age range you can be 17 or 50 and you can relocate to canada via the study route immigration pathway number two is that can my family also join me in canada yes they can we've already um explained that already and number three is that will i be able to get permanent residency with this study visa route the answer is yes so study in canada definitely leads to permanent residency and if you are interested to become a canadian citizen you can apply to become one in under three years of staying in canada all right so that is all for today so to get started with the not japan system program click the link below the video description for you to get it today or you will check a link for you to contact me and get the program today and also my email is below the video description where you can get all the resources that have been promised you in this program so if you are ready click the link below and get started and i'm, I'm glad to I'll hear your comments. Let me know if you have anything to say in the comment section and also I will be taking your questions as well in the comment section. Please kindly like this video and subscribe as well if you've gotten value from this. Alright, do have an amazing day.